This is the second video in the process of the Moments Forgotten series, or the Moments Forgotten project. The first video showed you how I altered the tin, and in this video I would like to show you how I prepared the photos. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload additional content. So to get these photographs ready to utilize within this project, I first printed them on a laser printer. And now I have just cut them to the size I want. I'm coating them with a layer of Mod Podge or gel medium. And I am getting a good, nice coat on them, allowing it to dry, coating them a second and a third time, allowing it to dry in between. So I have three good, strong coats of gel medium on the front of these pictures. And what I'm using, I'll link up above, I make my own, it's just a mixture of Elmer's glue and water. Now they are all coated and we'll set those aside and let them dry. Now I'm looking for the fabric that I want to transfer these pictures to and I'm choosing a very tight woven fabric. I picked this up at a thrift shop and I'm cutting it down to the size of my cover because I'm also going to use it as a page and then the remnant of that I will utilize to transfer these photos. So I have this little long strip of remnant from that tear and I am going to lay down the images on this remnant. So the first thing I will do is pull out that gel medium once again or the um, handmade Mod Podge and I'm going to coat that fabric and then I'm going to put one additional little coat just to wet that photo and lay that down on the fabric. And I want to uh, really burnish it down as well. And there's two ways that you can burnish this. I am going to utilize my brayer and just rub as hard as I can over the back of it. Just making sure that it is all in place and that we have a complete connection. Now you can also use a spoon and a spoon works really nice. Just take the back of that spoon and small circles just burnish across every single bit of this photo. You're trying to get that really good connection with the fabric. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these photos all laid down and burnished onto this fabric. And then we're going to set that aside and allow that to thoroughly dry as well. So here we go. We'll speed this up and and get through the rest of these really fast. But just remember the connection or the contact with the photo and the fabric is the most important thing. So burnish, 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 and make sure that you have really made sure that every little piece of that photo has been glued down and connected to that fabric. So now that that is complete and we've allowed that to completely dry, I would recommend letting that set overnight to make sure that you have a complete dry piece. I spritz on some water and just rubbing gently with my fingers to rub that paper off and allow that ink to remain on that fabric. So it's just a very light rub and you can see the paper starting to pull up. It 
and take your time with this. Don't be too aggressive or you'll start pulling the ink up as well. But just very lightly with your finger, rub over the top of that. You might want to spritz a little additional water if it gets too dry. And just very lightly rub that paper off. And this could take a while, depending on how big your image is. But if you've received a very good connection between the paper and the fabric, you are going to be left with a very rustic, vintage looking print on this fabric. I'm just going to tear the top of that to fray it so that it appears the way I want it to in my book. And there. Now I'm just going to hit it with a, a little bit of my heat tool to get all of that dried. And let me take a look at what we have. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now to protect it, I'm going to use a micro crystalline wax. I use Renaissance wax. You can use any type of car wax or any type of micro, micro, micro crystalline, if I can ever get it out of my mouth, micro crystalline wax. And I'm just utilizing that to protect it and to keep that ink in place. And I'm just showing you how I'm going to position that in my book. And I am adhering it with some additional glue and water mixture. Just to kind of lightly get it in place as I am going to come back and stitch it in with a slow stitch. And I will show you how that looks here. In just a moment, just giving it a little light dusting to keep it in place. And I'm putting it on another piece of fabric and I have just stitched it with needle and thread in a very slow stitch. And this is how it, it's going to be a cover of one of my signature pieces here inside the book. But in the next video, we'll start putting those signatures together. So I hope you come back and join me. This is a really fun project to do, transferring your photos onto fabric to utilize within your book, whatever that book might be, or your project, whatever that project might be. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate those of you that have been following me and have subscribed. And if you have not, I would love to have you. So please hit that subscribe button. Here is the playlist up above or over here on the side for this complete project. Bye for now.